Welcome to the world of Cisco Wireless Networking. My name is Vinay and I am the Technical Community Manager for the wireless domain. In this video, we will see how to set up a basic wireless LAN connection on Cisco Access Point. We will use Aeronet 1200 series access point that run on Cisco iOS 12.37JA. In this example, we use access point that has integrated antennas. So if you use an access point which requires an external antenna, ensure that antennas are connected to the access point. Otherwise, the access point is unable to connect to the wireless network. 802.1x framework requires three entities. That is supplicant, which is a client, authenticator, in our case, which is an access point, an authentication server which could be a radius server. When a wireless client becomes active, the wireless client authenticates either with the open or shared authentication. 802.1x works with open authentication and starts after the client successfully associates to the access point. Now once the client is authenticated or associated with the access point using open authentication, only after that, the other authentication mechanisms come into picture. For example, different flavors of EAP authentication, MAC authentication, etc. to the network. We will use basic authentication as open authentication with wired equivalent privacy, that is the web encryption. You can also use other authentication and encryption methods that are supported, such as open authentication to the access point, shared key authentication to the access point, EAP authentication to the network, MAC address authentication to the network, combining MAC-based EAP and open authentication, Cisco centralized key management, and Wi-Fi protected access key management. We can also use different encryption mechanism that are supported on the access points. Some of the security feature protect the data traffic on the wireless LAN are AES CCMP. Now we need to make sure that we can enable AES CCMP only on 802.11G radio. The second is Temporal Key Integrated Protocol, Cisco Key Integrated Protocol, Cisco Message Integrated Check, and Broadcast Key Rotation, also known as Group Key Update. Now let's see how to configure the access point. We can use various method in order to configure the access point like GUI CLI console port. In order to use console port, we need to connect the access point through console port using the nine pin straight through DB9 serial cable to the RS-232 serial port on the access point and the COM port on the computer. Set up a terminal emulator in order to communicate with the access point with the following parameters. In case if the device is not accessible after these settings, make sure the access point is in default status. We have two ways to access the access point with the, in the case of a GUI. Assign an IP address to the device before you connect through the GUI or obtain an IP address through DHCP. In this example, we use 1200 series access point. A login through console configures the access point with a static IP address of 10.0.0.1. Now let's see the step-by-step -step instruction. After configuring the IP address, we can access the access point through the browser in order to configure the access point so that it will start accepting the client association request from the client adapter. Open a web browser and enter 10.0.0.1 in the address bar. Press tab in order to bypass the username field and advance to the password field. The password window will appear and enter the password Cisco which is C capital and press enter and the summary status window will appear on the GUI. Now this is the home page for Cisco Aeronet 1200 series access point and we can see that we have a summary status page. Now on the left hand side we have express setup. Now once we click on Express Setup, the Express Setup window will appear. We can use this window to configure some of the basic parameter 
that are necessary to establish a wireless connection. Use the Express Setup window on the 1200 series access point to configure the acceptance of the wireless client association. Now let's see what all options are there. So first is the host name. In this example, I'm going to use the host name as AP1231G. Then it is mentioned the MAC address and the IP address. The IP address configuration of the access point, if the address is static IP, we can define the static IP and rest all the options, keep it as default. Click on apply and it will save the settings. Now in order to set the radio settings, click on network interfaces in the menu on the left to browse the network interface summary page. Select the radio interface that you want to use. Now in this example, we are using 802.11G. The action allow you to browse to the network interface radio status page. On this page, you will find settings tab in order to browse to the setting page for this radio interface. Enable in order to enable the radio. and leave all other settings on the page with the default values. Now scroll down and we need to click on apply button on this page in order to save the settings. In order to configure the SSID and the open authentication with web encryption, choose security SSID manager in the menu on the left the SSID manager page will appear. Now, we need to create a new SSID. So for in this example, we are going to use CISCO123. Now, SSIDs are unique identifiers that identify a wireless LAN network. Wireless devices use SSID to establish and maintain wireless connectivity. SSIDs are case sensitive and can obtain up to 32 alphanumeric characters. Do not use any space or special characters in an SSID. Now once the SSID is created, click on apply so that it, the access point will save the settings. Once the page is back, we need to select the SSID from the current SSID list. All right, now we have Cisco 123 SSID available in the current SSID list. Highlight the SSID. Under authentication settings, choose open authentication. Leave all of the parameters with their default values. Click on apply at the bottom of the page and it will save the settings. In order to configure the web key, choose security and encryption manager. Click on WEP encryption under encryption modes and choose mandatory from the drop down menu. Enter the encryption key for the web in the encryption key area. And in this example, we are going to use 128 bit, whereas 40 bit is also available. And click on apply. Once it saves the setting, the access point is configured. Now let's see what is the client side configuration. We may be using a different client on different machines, so we need to add the SSID as Cisco 123 on the client machine. Under the security option, select the pre shared key as static web. The key entry area, we need to add the same web key which we configured on the access point for encryption. Set the authentication method to open, and the client should be connected. Now we can verify that the client connection to the access point by clicking on the association in the menu on the left side of the access point.
Now we have some useful documents which you can refer to get more detailed information. Basic wireless LAN connection configuration example, configuring authentication types, and configuring cipher suits and web. I hope this video is informative for you. Thank you for your time.